Good evening, Maria. For generations, the birds have been building their nest here in the dunes of Kelmis Beach. And for generations, Cape Codders have been coming here for fireworks on the 4th. But in recent years, the birds and the booms have been getting closer to one another. Signs along the beach warn people that this is a nesting area for the least tern and the piping plover, two species of protected birds. And now the town of Barnstable has decided it must cancel this year's 4th of July fireworks in order to protect the birds as well. No, this is a town decision. Derek um, Lawson with Barnstable's year, Marine and Environmental um, Affairs Department okay. says crowds can sometimes trample the bird's nest and loud bangs from the fireworks can sometimes chase the birds away. The fireworks create, you know, large um, bang, booms, whatever, and um, you know, so that does disturb the uh, the birds. Part of the issue is that a piece of land where the birds nest near the entrance to Lewis Bay has been growing over recent years, and it's getting closer to where the fireworks barge is normally anchored. There really wasn't another location to move this barge um, out of the proximity of these birds. The town says it found out about some new nests just hours before last year's fireworks. For safety reason, the town says the fireworks barge could not be unloaded. The show went on, and the state ordered fines. There are other 4th of July fireworks on the Cape, and Barnstable has rescheduled its show for Labor Day weekend. But for some people, it just won't be the same. If you have to choose between the fireworks and the birds. I'm going to pick the birds. I take the fireworks. And now it makes me a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Now, by Labor Day, the nests are usually empty. The chicks have flown. The town says 4th of July fireworks might come back in future years if they can find another launch site, perhaps somewhere on land. Live in Hyannis, David Binick, WCVB, News Center 5.